Hi everyone, Diane here. And it is now my home province that we have arrived in for the Canadian Road Trip Yarn Series. So I thought to celebrate being in Manitoba and showcasing Manitoba hand-dyed yarn, I would do a full episode about local yarn that I've been buying in my home province. So let's get going. Let's catch up, shall we? We started in beautiful British Columbia. We then made a detour to go up to the Yukon. We came back south to Alberta, Canada. Then next door to Saskatchewan. And welcome to my home province of Manitoba. Manitoba. Did you know Manitoba is the center of Canada? The longitudinal bit. I'm proud to call Manitoba home. Even though our winters can be rather brutal, our summers sure make up for it. I went through my yarn room and gathered everything together and recognized that I guess I bought quite a bit of Manitoba hand-dyed yarn. And I think it's only fair to share with you and to do a recap of what I've purchased because I think you might like to look into some of this stuff yourself. I am not an enabler. I am just a good friend sharing with my other good fiber friends things that I have bought that I enjoy. Previously purchased, I'll do a, just a quick recap and show you the loveliness and then we're going to end with three dyers that I have recently bought from. And I thought I would just do it all in one episode because why not? The first one I want to share with you is called Remy's Rovings and Yarn. And I have bought on three separate occasions from her. She is based out of Morden, Manitoba. She has an Etsy store. She's also on Instagram. I'm going to link all of the stores below in um, my notes, my show notes. So she hand dyes yarn, and I'm gonna share with you the very two first things I bought from her. She was at the Manitoba Fiber Festival when I went, but I didn't partake at the time. She has standard poodles. Her name is Arlene Klein, based out of Morden, Manitoba, Canada. And these were the first two hanks that I bought from her. This is Black Nep in a gray. She always includes a very cute little stitch marker with her purchases. She has standard size poodles, so they will be probably dog based. So we've got two of these. I then asked her to hand dye me some yarn and my friend Dude and I went on a little road trip to, to go down there and I asked to get some uh, mustard yellow with the gray nap. So I got two of those and decided I better pick this up while I'm at it. This is beautiful, 100% um, superwash merino. It is called Salt and Pepper. And then I think Etsy had a sale, so I bought one other thing online from her. I thought if I'm going to have this, I got to have this to go with it. Again, this is the Black Nep. And I had to have this zebra striped yarn, which is fantastic. It is 100% Peruvian Highland fingering wool in the color driftwood. I think she still has some of this on her, on her shop, but it's, oh my God. So I would highly recommend her. As I mentioned, she comes to our local festival. And so uh, that's in September. So we'll see. Let's take an overall look of Arlene's yarn. Another favorite yarn company that I have really enjoyed 
is Smash Knits. They are based out of DeFrost, Manitoba. They also were at the Manitoba Fiber Festival when I went. And when I went, and the first time I bought anything from them, I bought a grab bag of miscellaneous pieces of yarn, bits and bobs. And it was an amazing deal. And it was really nice to be able to see um, some of the different things that they they had and to feel their yarn. So it involved all of this. I already caked up the mohair because I'm planning to use it right away. And some minis. All of this beautifulness for $45. They had a grab bag sale at their the local fiber fest. So that was amazing. They have an Etsy store, but they actually have a website and I would hi I'm just going to link their website below because I would encourage you to go whenever you see a hand dyer, always just Google them to see if they actually have a website because they don't have to pay those extra fees that Etsy has. Um, and I think it helps them out in their business. Then at Christmas time, I um, ordered an advent sock kit from them. And they do have advent calendars. They haven't put them out yet for this year. But this was what was in the advent sock kit. I got a full hank with two minis. Their names are Ashley and Norm. And they were super generous in providing me some beautiful wooden ornaments. Norm makes uh, various wooden products for their shop as well. Um, that are knitting or yarn related. So I highly encourage you to go and check them out. Smash Knits. When I went down um, for my little trip, to Morden, uh, Jude and I even stopped in at a little shop that was out of the way in a small quaint town called Darlingford, Manitoba. Darlingford. It's straight out of a Hallmark movie, that name. And the company name is called We Wool Shop and Studio. We got to meet the owner, Lori. She showed us her studio and all of her bits and Hand we hand spins all of this yarn and dyes it with her aunt. I bought something that was super out of character for me, but it was because I was really gravitated to it because the name was called Morden Blush and we were just outside of Morden, Manitoba. It was 100% baby doll yarn that was spun by her and she told me the name of the sheep was Abby and then I was hooked. I was in deep. So this is the beautiful, beautiful. It is so soft. It is like a cloud. It is a two ply yarn. It's from her memory rose collection and the color is more than blush. It is 425 yards. Just beautiful. I don't know what I'm going to make with it. I will probably go down and visit her again and maybe I'll get something to pair up with this, but um, just amazing. She does spinning classes um, in that local area as well, which is kind of cool. Uh, so yeah, check her out. We will shop and studio. I did discover a lot of the hand dyers at the um, Manitoba Fiber Fest when I went in September. It's an annual event and it's our local Fiber Fest. Now this particular one, uh, I they have a website but it doesn't seem to be active right now but I'm gonna share it with you anyway. She does go to the local events. Um, so I'm just gonna put down her Instagram account if you want to take a look and you could always probably contact her. I'm not sure how she's shipping or if she's shipping outside or just sells locally. The name is Manjusha Fiber Arts. I had found this ball of uh, or this hank of BFL sock yarn. It's called Fog and Fire and it's just gorgeous. What a beauty. 
so this will go really nice with a lot of the gray yarn that I've collected. So Manjusha Fiber Arts. And finally, yarn that I've already bought, that I've already shown you, just as a bit of a recap, is from Cloud9 Fiberworks now. Her name is Daria. She is based out of Winnipeg, and she has her own website. I had bought two balls of yarn. I had hand-dyed this. This is not Daria's yarn, but I hand-dyed this yarn at our fiber festival. I did a workshop of hand dyeing. It's got browns and purples in it. And I was on the hunt to try and find something that would go with it that I could make something. So I took this with me when I went to a very small little um, fiber weekend get up situation. I can't talk today. I don't know what's wrong with me. Uh, at the Norwood Naughty Knitters group had put on a mini little fiber festival. And, oh, that reminds me, I have something else I have to go and get and show you. And so I picked up two of these from Daria to go with this that I thought would look really good together. Yes, this is kind of a pinky beigey brown color. This is her Cumulus Sock yarn. Uh, Marin's Glaciers. Glaciers. Super 80% superwash, 20% nylon. It's just gorgeous. So she's based out of Winnipeg. She, um, yeah, she's got a website, so she does ship. Just gorgeous. I think this is going to work really well together in the project as well. So I'm just going to pause this, and I'm going to get the other thing I just remembered I bought from that mini fiber fest. Right. So some of you may or may not know that I am a maker. I sell my products at local markets. I sell mittens and some hand-knit toys. And I had come across another Manitoba dyer or yarn producer called Circle O Alpacas. They were also at the mini little festival that I went to that Daria was at. And I picked up three hanks of this alpaca 60% alpaca, 20% merino, 20% nylon. It's a much thicker, like a bulky weight yarn. And uh, I'm planning to make some mittens for this. Maybe a mitten and a hat set. And because it's alpaca and bougie and beautiful, I'm probably just going to keep it for myself. But this is another um, producer of yarn. Now, I don't know, I'm assuming this is actually a natural alpaca color and it's not hand dyed, but I wanted to showcase them because they are in Manitoba and they are a producer of yarn. Okay, let's get to the three companies that I purchased for the month of April to showcase the Canadian road trip yarn series that I'm doing. I think there's still a couple of places that I haven't bought from uh, within Manitoba, but I'm pretty confident that I've done the majority. So this first company is called So Into Knitting. They have an Etsy store. They sell hand dyed yarn, but they also have project bags that they sew. So into knitting, get it? And so I bought one hank of yarn from them in a DK weight. I was getting into DK weights for a while. And um, I'm grouping them together to hopefully make a bigger project and stuff like that. But So this is 100% merino wool, 246 yards. Kind of like a nice neutral. It is a DK weight. And they are based out of Morden, Manitoba. But when the, that's upside down, but when the package came, it said Cook's Creek, Manitoba. So Cook's Creek is actually fairly close to me. It's just on the outskirts of Winnipeg. They're somewhere in Manitoba. Their Etsy says Morden, the package said Cook's Creek. Um, this was actually free shipping. They offer free shipping on their 
Etsy store. So that is a bonus. I uh, didn't have to deal with them in regards to customer service. This is very lovely yarn, very squishy. Um, so I would recommend you going to check them out if you're looking for project bags. Their project bags are also free shipping. So this is the first dyer of my new Manitoba yarn. The next hand dyer I want to share with you that is new to me is called Oh Nina Hand Dyed Fibers based out of Manitoba. It does not say exactly where in Manitoba they are, but they do have a website which will be linked below. And I just purchased one hank from them in my standard traditional color of a beautiful gray, which is just gorgeous. Um, this is a fingering weight, 75% superwash fine merino, 25% nylon in their so fine sock base. It is 459 yards, which seems like a lot in 100 grams. Again, would be beautiful to pair with so many things. Oh, Nina. And finally, my friends, a company that I have not bought from, and I'm quite surprised I have not bought from them before, they also were at the Manitoba Fiber Festival. If any of you are local or not too far from Manitoba, I highly encourage you attending the Manitoba Fiber Festival. It's usually in the first weekend of September. When I went last year, there was well over 80 booths of hand-dyed yarn, uh, roving yarn accessories of various kind workshops it was just a fantastic experience and I hope to go do it again this year but the company that was there that I did not partake in and I finally did is based out of Winnipeg Manitoba and they are called Fireweed Fiber Co. They have a website which of course is going to be linked below and I bought two hanks from them in a fingering weight yarn. It's their sweet pea sock base. It is called Whiskey Jack, and I am jacked up about it, let me tell you. This stuff. Look at this gorgeous, gorgeous. It's got browns and blues and like a pale gray. In fact, it would go really nice with this gray as well from Onina if I need to include it. I am banking on the fact that I can make myself a lot of short tees with two hanks of fingering weight yarn. Uh, that's why I'm kind of sticking to two hanks on a lot of the purchases. So if not, I will be including some form of a complementary color. Um, so yeah, this is absolutely amazing. Fireweed Fiber Co. And Whiskey Jack. I love the names of yarn. Um, it's kind of like paint chip names to me. I'm, sometimes I'm really gravitated to the names and then I look at it and go, oh yeah, I'll do that. So, but this is a gorgeous, gorgeous color. It will eventually someday become a garment for yours truly. If I missed any Manitoba hand dyers, um, like I know there's a few more in Morden that I didn't partake in, uh, please leave a comment below and share the names with me. This is everything for April when it comes to the Canadian Road Trip Yarn Series. I'm really enjoying doing it. In fact, I've kind of purchased ahead. I'm all ready to go for Ontario and Quebec and some of the Maritimes. Um, 
but I am still kind of looking at a few of those, hoping to get those all done soon. Um, Fireweed also has, I believe, a monthly subscription. And if I'm not correct, I think my friend Judy has um, signed up for their monthly subscription. But uh, she can tell me below if that's right or not. Thank you for watching my Manitoba yarn video. I hope you enjoyed it. Any other uh, tips you might want to give on other places to buy yarn, especially in the Maritimes, I would really appreciate it for hand-dyed yarn. And I'm going to let you go now. It is like balmy outside. It is in the double digits and temperatures. We still have a bit of snow in our yard, but things are quickly melting. Finally, here in Manitoba, I think spring has arrived. Take care of yourselves, and I hope to see you real soon. Bye for now.